Hi TVS, welcome back to my next video on VHDL language. Today we will be seeing something quite different than VHDL programming or topic something we have, have di diverted. So at my previous video you have seen that there I have created some FPGA board. I was telling something like board I have designed and that we by utilizing this board we will be writing the logics and something we will we were discussing right. So that thing we will be continuing after a week. Okay, after a week we will be continuing the sessions of on that. Okay, so so before that let me start a small video on this cadence okay so basically cadence is not a free a free tool so it is a paid version so we have an open source also okay there is an open source also where we can do these things and the first thing the tool first you require is dsch okay this is the first tool see i have folder they are called dsch okay here there is a file just you double click it then you will get this kind of window here what you can able to do you will be having this remos okay and this is an MOS basically you can connect them and right click you will get a wire okay this is your VCC supply connect it and this will be your ground just connect it and this will be your input and let me connect it this input also to here and this will be my okay so simple one very easy this is your run simulation off on off on off on off just stop it and you can see your waveforms here okay so this is, this is a simple not get explanation okay so I will show you a complete video no problem nothing will be going on so around 5 to 10 minutes takes hardly it takes 5 to 10 minutes okay and if you want these links if you want this software just comment below i will be providing you the links also or else you google it first of all see you can able to you search in google right dsch2 okay you can able to see what what is the software i am using okay there you can able to see dsch2 so you search it if you don't find then please comment below i am always there to help you right so this is all so input is zero input is zero you will get your output one zero one zero one zero one and similarly that is going on so what you have to do after this you have to make a very log file just create a very log file you need to copy it or what you can able to do first you go you click on save as don't save it here save it on your desktop this is inverter right i n i n v let me right let me save again then save make a very log file i n v just click on ok and you can able to find INV something like this right now what you have to do is you need to open micro wind 3.1 full this is also one more software okay this is the micro micro wind software 3.1 don't go to original website and don't download it because there something is error is going on right now i have seen that something error is going on so don't go there just you search for this file okay if you don't find i am there no no worries after doing that right you just after doing in this just you close it no problem and what you will what you do open don't open just compile compile verilog file so there is no verilog file right so what i will do is this is they have created a notepad right now edit it notepad you will get it save as env dot v very log file okay dot p you save it as dot p file it will be created in this manner now what you do go to compile compile very log file dot p file open it so here you have this very log file right now what you go compile it you will find no errors right if there is no errors in that file then there will be no errors in this file also so back to editor you will be getting this kind of video this kind of interface that is nothing but layout diagram simple layout diagram for your not get okay so here i think it is double okay pmos out one pmos out one PMOS out one, PMOS out one, VDD, and this is your ground, right? No problem. Let me see the code. See one PMOS is used and one NMOS is used. Okay, no problem. Same, same kind of thing. No need to worry. Same kind of thing has been. You need not to work, work hard and think about it. No worries on it. Okay. So then, what you have to do is you just go here and click on run. Okay. See, you can able to see this is on and this is your off on and this is a this is your input one out is output okay this is the input and this is your output time scale let us keep it to nanoseconds no two nanoseconds let us keep it 20 nanoseconds you can able to see clearly the graph it's not clear right now also let us keep it 20 nanoseconds okay so this is how you will be seeing it reset and again it will be started it is starting right it is running so this is how you will be getting your output you can able to see your analog waveforms here okay so this is how you can see your analog waveforms you can go to analyze parasitic measurements you can design check rules you can check, check the rules it is like 25 micrometer technology okay so then distance measurement these are all things you can able you can able to do okay these are all things you can able to do. stimulate these things we i will be telling you later okay how to analyze it and how to do those things i will be telling you later in the later videos so till then this is a small video which i have created on back end which i want to tell you actually because we we are always doing it in vhdl and verilog never i have discussed on this topic 
topics if you want more topics so it is coming see lambda values and everything it is coming so it takes some time i think so i have not worked on it just i have started it i know how to do it and those things so this is how you will be getting it okay this, all the values all the things you will be getting it what what are the things if you change the width of width length of your of your nmos and pmos what will going to happen those things we will be learning slowly slowly so if you like this video na please like it i hope five likes i will be getting i have usually 900 subscribers so i likes is like simple for me right if you like if you if i get a five likes na then i will be continuing this series of videos also for you apart from this vhd land very long if you don't like this video just don't dislike it i will be not continuing this series of videos if i get same five dislikes okay so hope i get five video five likes of from this video if there is five dislikes and five likes also i'll i'll be using that five likes i'll be using it and i'll making you i'll be making videos hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something from this video from your back end front end to back end so everything perfectly till then stay tuned to my channel subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe support me thank you for watching this video